Time for our pitching performance of the night presented by Land Rover. Tonight, it focuses on rookie starter Chase Whitley. Once again, he was fantastic for the Yankees, improving his record to 2-0. After no decisions in his first four starts, he has won back-to-back -back outings by completing at least seven innings in both of them. Whitley allowed his first home run of his big league career early in the game, got into some trouble by hitting Robinson Cano in the third, but that was his only jam of the night. He got through a career-high seven and two-third innings, needed just 82 pitches, did not allow a walk for the fourth straight outing, a span of 114 batters. Whitley finished with six strikeouts while allowing just five hits and two earned runs as the Yankees improved their record with rookie starters on the hill to 21 and eight and 15 and one on the road this season. You take a look at what the Yankees have done behind Tanaka and Whitley this year, 16 and three with a 2-1-2 ERA. The rest of the rotation has struggled at times, 18 and 28 with a 4-6-6 ERA, but the Yankees certainly happy to get another steady outing from Chase Whitley, who spoke with Meredith Morakovitz in the media moments ago about how he kept Seattle hitters off balance tonight. You know, uh... I think they're they were aggressive. Enough. I mean, they, they started being aggressive, especially later on. And uh, and what else helped was Ellsbury making a heck of a catch and Guardy making a heck of a catch. And you know, just you know, Lord got me through that one again. I mean, just, I give all the credit to him. The Ellsbury catch, uh, the Cano ball that that you mentioned. What was going through your mind as you see that ball going back? Well, it kept carrying, it, and I was like, you know, I mean, this part, you know, I thought it played small and or played bigger, and, uh, and sure enough, it it did. I thought. It, I thought it was going for sure, and and then Zadino's. I was already looking, you know, for the, to get a new ball. So, I mean, it just part plays big. Uh, prior to that, in that third inning, you had a really big strikeout to end it uh, of Seeger. How important was that at that point in time in the game? Huge, because I mean that was a uh, you know shutdown inning, and you know that's my goal is to make sure that we always shut down innings, and uh, you know to to be able to do that, especially in that situation, first and third, uh, to get through that was that was big. I've been in a premium for this team for a while here. When you see them get two, two more, two more, how good of a feeling is that to get that lead and have a little coach to work? With? It's awesome, uh, but to shut it down. I mean, that's you know, if we get one, we get two, we get however many is. I mean, just going back to you know being able to shut down innings, and I mean that, that takes all the momentum away from you know if if I give you know give a run after a shutdown, you know it takes momentum away. So our goal is to make sure that we keep that momentum on our side. Is there any part of you that was hoping that Joe left you out there for, for the eighth and maybe some of the night? Well, it was a competitor. I mean, you always want to, you know, you never want to be taken out. But at the same time, you know, this, this is, I mean, he made the right call. So, I mean, it, I'm not complaining. Chase, since you came up to start that game against the Mets, how satisfying is the last, you know, five weeks? Just to me, I mean, I just, I just look up. I mean, it's the, the power of the Lord because, I mean, that's, I mean, you look at where I've been the past couple of years, being in the bullpen, and then to be where it's at right now, it's, it's not my plan, it's his. So, you know, to be, to be here, it's just, it's just a blessing. Are you surprised at your success? Yeah, I mean, I mean, but at the same time, no, because I've been, I felt like I was pitching well in, in AAA, and I've just tried to, to carry that over, you know, to here. I mean, it's, you know, I think I said after the first, uh, the first outing was, you know, it's, it's the same game, you know, I've been playing since I was five, and, and just so, you know, just go out and, and continue to compete. What are your emotions like now compared to that night in City Field? I just think, you know. Obviously that night was, was was crazy being the first one, but I, mean, I just feel like it's it's starting to uh, you know I still feel like I'm just trying to pitch each and every each and every time I come out and just do the best I can possibly do, and that's really that's all I can really try to do.